I'm meteorologist Peter Chan at the National Weather Service for Alaska Statewide Weather. And on this Thursday afternoon, February 3rd, low pressure is sitting out in the western Gulf and it is providing areas of snow, blowing snow from southwestern coast uh, in the vicinity of the lower uh, Kuskokwim Delta where a blizzard warning remains in effect uh, through this evening. And uh, we have a blizzard warning also in effect for Thompson Pass near uh, Valdez. Also, winter weather advisories will be coming down at 6 p.m. for portions of the southwest uh, as well as the Kenai Peninsula. But we'll continue, winter weather advisories will continue for the Copper River Basin for four to eight inches of snow here overnight into uh, the day on Friday. We also have a winter weather advisory for the central panhandle around Angoon for three to six inches of snow along uh, with a mix of some freezing rain changing to rain coming in there. But otherwise winter storm warnings remain in effect for the uh, northern portion of the Panhandle as well as around Hyder in the far, far southeast of the Panhandle for wet heavy snow. It should stay all snow up there around Haines and Skagway further inland there uh, of, of the Panhandle. But the outer areas are gonna see uh, some freezing rain uh, mix in, so that will tend to keep the snow amounts down where you see that uh, freezing rain to rain change over happen sooner. Uh, though as we head through the day Friday, the low pressure will work its way into uh, southern Yukon, British Columbia, so uh, milder air will spread across much of the panhandle. Another little low back through the Alaska Peninsula will keep some precipitation, some lighter precipitation going there. In the north, high pressure dominates from eastern Russia across uh, the northern part of the straight state, the uh, North Slope, Brooks Range into far northern and northwest Canada. And as we go through uh, the next uh, several days we're going to see a series of Pacific and uh, Gulf low pressure systems working their way up into the Bering as well as the Gulf at times and this is going to be pretty much going into the mid-month and that means some milder air will be able to work its way into the state at times so that's going to tend to bring some milder air back into south central and southeastern parts of the state especially February 9th through the 15th before then though some colder air is going to overspread the north and west side of the state later this weekend and at least through the first half of next week and if you missed it last night there was a great display of the northern lights one of the better ones we've seen so far so keep your eyes peeled for Alaska statewide weather I'm Peter Chan